Please join Michael Voris on July 15th through 17th for a second annual weekend retreat in Bloomington, Indiana at the grounds of the Franciscan Friars of Immaculate. The retreat's theme will be the Church Triumphant and we'll discuss the current crisis in the church as well as our response in charity and boldness. Please click on the link for registration details and information. God bless. Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. If it hasn't occurred to most people yet, it has occurred to some sociologists that with the advent of so-called gay marriage in New York, thanks to a lackluster official Catholic Church effort and turncoat Catholic lawmakers, there's going to be an increase in adoptions and children living in these spiritually immoral and psychologically unhealthy situations. Children should not be in these situations. We hesitate to call them households because they aren't. Children have the right to be raised in a family with a father and a mother, period. They are not commodities to be used to play house and make a lifestyle of sin and immorality have the veneer of normalcy. Even if there is some genuine affection or what passes as love for the children, it cannot be true love, never, because love is born of sacrifice for the sake of the other and children are not getting what they have a natural right to. Here are some reasons why children need a father and a mother. Number one, balance. Mothers and fathers love their children in different ways. Mothers tend to love unconditionally. Fathers tend to love conditionally. These differences are each needed for a healthy development for the child. One without the other can be extremely problematic. One teaches you you are loved. The other teaches, teaches you that you are loved and there is a proper response required from you. Number two, relationships. Only parents of the opposite sex can provide a child with the opportunity to develop relationships with each of the sexes. Establishing same and opposite sex relationships early in life makes it easier for the adult child to develop the same relationships later in life. Number three, development. Children all go through stages of development. Sometimes a mother is able to better deal with a particular stage, and other times it's the father. For example, a boy at some point needs to detach from mother and identify with and learn from his father how to become a competent man. Girls, too, at some point need to have the affirmation of a father who provides a safe, non-sexual place for her to be affirmed in her femininity. Without a masculine father around to affirm her, girls will often go looking for that affirmation in dangerous places. Number four, control. Boys and girls need opposite sex parents around to help them control and moderate their specific characteristics. Any parent will tell you that boys and girls are different and come from different and quite opposite places. This causes them to relate to and view the world in a more narrow way and an opposite sex parent helps them to expand how they see and relate to the world. These are just a few reasons, actually obvious reasons when you think about them, and just some common sense reasons why gay, so-called marriage, is a cruel and evil thing to foist on society, particularly children. Even children who aren't raised by homosexual couples will come to see this as just some other way of being family, while in reality it is not. There is only one way of being family completely. It is the way that God ordained it and human nature demands it. And while there are numerous examples of struggling families, single parent families, for example, who either through death or divorce or illness create great hurdles for emotional, spiritual, and psychological development for children, difficult situations should not be willingly multiplied and enshrined in law as though they are nothing more than another way of being family. The societal ills that have befallen Western civilization are owing largely to the continuing downward spiral of how children are raised. And when you think about it, it's ridiculous, totally morally and spiritually insane that any of this even has to be talked about and explained. Imagine your grandparents or great-grandparents or any relative stretching back for 5,000 years having to be sat down and have it explained to them that children need mothers and fathers. This is how far we have fallen. 
Selfish, narcissistic individuals concerned with their own agendas have brought this curse upon children. Of course, a cursory glance at the thousands of children who end up in the garbage dumpsters behind abortion clinics every day should serve as a prime example of how little children are actually valued for themselves in our culture. Deny them life outright or give them a life of something less than they deserve. Welcome to the brave new world without Christ. Once again, the failure of Catholic leaders to step up and aggressively defend and promote the truth will be felt for generations to come. God love you. I'm Michael Voris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber. Become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.